when Nehemiah found out the wall around Jerusalem was still in ruins, he was very upset and began to cry. Then he prayed. Oh, Lord, did he pray. And then he didn't just sit around and do nothing. He took the initiative to rebuild the wall. You know, James, the half-brother of Jesus, said that faith without deeds is dead. He said that having faith without deeds is like when somebody comes to you and they say to you that they have no clothes and they have no food and they're in need of help, and all you do is you say to them, well, good luck with that, brother. I'll pray for you to have plenty of food and good clothes. So long. Well, James says, that's what faith without deeds is like. He said, faith with, that is not accompanied by action is dead. James says, show me your faith without deeds, and I'll show you my faith by my deeds. It took a lot of planning to build that wall around Jerusalem. It took a lot of hard work. It took a whole bunch of helpers working together to get that job done. Nehemiah, he got together goldsmiths and perfume makers and uh, priests and people that were living uh, around the wall there in that area and organized them to rebuild the wall. But they weren't alone. The whole time they were rebuilding the wall, Nehemiah made sure Everyone knew that God was going to give them a success. And when the wall was complete in only 52 days, the first thing the Israelites did was they worshipped God to thank God for helping them to complete the wall. You see, there was only so much they could do on their own. They had to trust God. The same goes for you and me. God wants us to work hard at whatever we do. But most importantly, he wants us to trust him, to put him in the middle of everything that we do. You know, there's only so much that we can do on our own. The other day, I had to go to the dentist, and when I sat down in the dentist chair, the dental hygienist noticed that on the back of my phone, I have... Um, Proverbs 3, 5, 6 taped to my phone. And she said to me, is, uh, is that a Bible scripture on your phone? And I said, yes, it is. And she said, are you a follower of Jesus? And I said, yes, I am. Are you? And she said, yes, I definitely am. And I said, oh, that's good. That makes me feel a lot better. And then she said something to me that really made me end up having the best experience in a dentist office I ever had. She said to me, all right, just sit back and take it easy. The three of us got this. The three of us. Me, her, and God. Yes, God is big and powerful. He can do anything. He can do anything. Hmm, where have I heard that before? Ah, yes. You know, there was this time when Jesus was talking to his disciples and he said to them, truly, I tell you, it is harder for a rich man to go to heaven than it is for a camel to go through the eye of a needle. Well, when his disciples heard this, they were like, whoa, well, if that's true, then who among us can go to heaven? And Jesus said to them, you know, with man, it's impossible. But with God, all things are possible. That's right, you can trust God to help you do whatever you need to do. But listen, God is also incredibly smart. He knows everything. He knows better than you and I about what needs to be done. So the one thing to remember today is this, the bottom line. You can trust God to help you do what needs to be done. You can trust God to help you do what needs to be done. And just like our memory verse says today, 
Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. You know, we've learned a lot this month about initiative. And I challenge all of you to get out there and to show some initiative this week. And when you do it, do it as though you're doing it for the Lord, not for other people. And put God right in the middle of everything that you do. You have to decide, do you want to do things the world's way or do you want to do them God's way? And remember, Proverbs 3, 5, 6, to trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding and in all your ways acknowledge Him and He will make your path straight. You can do it. I know you can. Let's end this month with faith prayer, and initiative. And if you see something that needs to be done, do it. Let's pray. Father God, please give us strength, courage, and wisdom to do what needs to be done. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Thank you. Have a blessed day.